episode of One Park at a Time. All right, in this episode, we are headed to New Mexico. This is our second day of travel. We left Dallas yesterday and stayed in Big Spring, uh, just a roadside motel, not a whole lot going on in Big Spring. And we are headed to Carlsbad Caverns. Woo. Tomorrow, we're gonna hit up Guadalupe National Park. And then we're gonna make our way up north and hit White Sands National Park as well. Then we're gonna truck it on home. Hope you guys enjoy the journey. All right guys, we made it to Carlsbad Caverns. We have a little bit of a hiccup. Apparently we were supposed to get reservations and I didn't do that. So we're hoping that they've got space. Wish me luck. Luckily we secured a spot for the cavern, so we dodged that bullet and we began our journey through the natural entrance of the cavern, descending the equivalent of a staggering 77 story building. Carlsbad Caverns is nestled in the southwestern New Mexico area in the Guadalupe Mountains. The park spans around 46,000 acres and has 120 known caves and over 50 miles of backcountry trails. We were in a cave today and it was 750 feet. Carlsbad Caverns. Yep. We are currently hiking a nature trail in the McKinton section of Guadalupe National Park. Unfortunately, because it's spring break, the parking lot for Devil's Hall, which is the hike that we really want to do, was full. So we're doing this quick hike, and we're going to go back to the other ranger station and hope that some spaces have opened up. So if you're wondering why we didn't do the Devil's Hall hike, it's because breakfast was a disaster. It took us 49 minutes to get here, and then and then there was no parking. So we had to do another hike, but we didn't do that hike, so we did another hike. And once we got here, most of us were complaining, and then we ate, and then we ate lunch, and we didn't go on the hike, sorry. After Guadalupe, we made our way to Roswell, New Mexico for the night. The next morning, we woke up, got to experience all the extraterrestrial excitement of downtown Roswell. We did the Roswell Spacewalk. We visited the UFO Museum and all the gift shops. And then we headed to Rio Doso, New Mexico, strolled down the main street, went and did a little souvenir shopping, grabbed some quick lunch, had a craft brew at Downshift Brewing, before heading to our next destination for the night, Cloudcroft, New Mexico. We got an early start and then we headed to stunning White Sands National Park. The boys love sledding down the sandy dunes. You can visit the gift shop, be aware it does not open until nine o'clock and buy a sled there and they will buy it back for $5, but we ended up keeping ours. After a few hours of sledding and a picnic lunch, we headed back to Cloudcroft. We made a quick pit stop in Alamogordo to see the world's largest pistachio. Then we dropped off mom and headed to Ski Cloud Croft so the boys and I could do a little tubing. Even with the slushy conditions this late in the season, everybody had a great time. We wrapped up the day by exploring downtown Cloud Croft, uh, indulged in some great barbecue on the main street, and then hit a snow cone stand, which honestly had some of the best snow cones we had ever had. That wraps up this episode of One Park at a Time our spring break trip from Dallas to West Texas up into New Mexico. Hope you enjoyed the journey and please like and subscribe for more.